Hello and welcome to the Cracksway YouTube channel. Are you tired of the same old custom rooms that are filled with unnecessary features? Today we are going to show you the top 3 custom rooms that are taking the market by storm with their smooth stock like experience. Pixel Experience Plus, Pixel OS and Arrow OS are the 3 rooms that we are going to be talking about in this video. So these rooms have a great reputation for their stability, speed and minimalistic approach but which one is the best for you as you can see we have set up the latest version of pixel experience plus pixel OS and arrow OS on the screen these rooms are running on the latest android 13 and have the latest security update on january 5 2023 and are on the latest build available also, all of them run on the same kernel, Quicksilver kernel. This way we can compare them fairly. Let's see which one is the best. Boot test. Now let's start with the boot test. We are going to restart all three rooms at the same time and you can see the difference in boot time for each room. As you can see, Pixel Experience Plus has the fastest boot time taking only 37 seconds. Arrow OS takes 43 seconds and Pixel OS takes 48 seconds. It's clear that Pixel Experience Plus is the winner in this category. But it's not just about the boot time. Let's also take a look at the boot animation. Pixel Experience Plus and Pixel OS have the same boot animation but Arrow OS has its own unique arrow animation. It's small details like this that sets each room apart and makes them unique but can the other rooms catch up in other areas let's find out camera after the boot comparison let's now check which camera is provided as the system camera in all of the rooms as you can see pixel os and arrow os both have the same miui camera with a working 48 megapixel camera as well as other features like portrait night light slow mo and pro features however pixel experience plus has aperture camera which lacks these features but has a scan feature inside it after evaluating the camera features and capabilities of each room, it is clear that Pixel OS and Arrow OS offers a superior camera experience with its advanced features and high quality image output. So in terms of camera, Pixel OS and Arrow OS are the top choices. And if you are curious about the device certification of these rooms, let's find out in the next section. Play Protect Certification Next, we'll check if the device is certified by opening the Play Store app and checking the Play Protect certification. All three rooms have the same results. The device is certified. This is positive sign for all of the rooms, but which one will come out on top at the end? Let's see. Launcher. When it comes to the launcher, all three custom rooms provide a smooth and seamless experience. Pixel Experience Plus and Pixel OS comes with the popular Pixel Launcher while Arrow OS offers its own unique Arrow Launcher. Both launchers offer a similar performance and user interface. So which launcher do you prefer? The classic Pixel Launcher or the unique Arrow Launcher? Let's move on to the next comparison and find out more features that set these rooms apart. Split Screen and Freeform when it comes to multitasking, all three rooms have a split screen feature that allows you to use two apps at the same time. But in the Arrow OS, you'll find an additional feature called Force Stop button that allows you to quickly close an app. Additionally, all three rooms also support the Freeform feature which allows you to open multiple windows of the same app and work on them side by side. But the real question is, does this feature make a big difference in your daily uses? We will let you decide that. Google Photos Storage Now let's take a look at the Google Photos Storage options available in each room. All three rooms come with the option to enable unlimited backup for photos and videos through the Google Photos app. This means you can store all your precious memories without worrying about running out of storage space. Number of pre-installed apps. Now let's dive into the number of pre-installed apps on each room. We have used the G apps included version of each room for a fair comparison and the results are in Arrow OS takes the lead with the 
list number of pre-installed apps at just 15. Coming in second, Pixel Experience Plus with 17 pre-installed apps and lastly, Pixel OS with 18 pre-installed apps. But the question is, does a higher number of pre-installed app means a better user experience? Comment your thoughts in comment section below. Dialer or Message App Now let's take a look at the dialer and messaging apps on each room. As you can see, all of them have the Google messaging application and phone dialer available. However, none of them have the built-in option for auto call recording, but don't worry, you can easily remove the recording announcement while still being able to record by following my video in the description section below. Widgets Let's now take a look at the widgets available on all three custom rooms. Pixel OS has one widget that the other two don't have, which is Android System Intelligence widget. Arrow OS doesn't have the Android 13 Easter Egg widget that both Pixel OS and Pixel Experience Plus have, but Arrow OS has a gallery widget that the other two don't have. This is because Arrow OS does not come with the Google Photos app pre-installed, and comes with the gallery app. This is a tie in this category. Wallpapers and styles. When it comes to customizing the look and feel of your device, all three rooms offer different options. Pixel OS and Pixel Experience Plus comes with 11 different wallpaper options, while Arrow OS only has one default wallpaper. However, Arrow OS has an added feature that the other two rooms lack which is the ability to customize icons, icon packs, and system points. This means you can truly make your device unique with Arrow OS. But if you are someone who likes to change your wallpaper frequently, Pixel OS and Pixel Experience Plus might be the better option for you. So which one will you choose? A classic look with Arrow OS or a personalized look with Pixel OS and Pixel Experience Plus? Let's know on the comments. Home setting. Now let's take a look at the home setting options available on each room. Both Pixel Experience Plus and Pixel OS have a similar layout with 10 options available, including the ability to change the grid size and app suggestion. However, Arrow OS has a slightly different layout with only 4 options available, including the ability to customize the icons, home screens, app drawer, and recents. But in Arrow OS, you also have access to some additional features like parallel space, taskbar, and the ability to hide or protect apps. So in terms of home setting options, Arrow OS offers a more unique and customized experience compared to the other two rooms. But it's worth noting that Pixel Experience Plus and Pixel OS offer a more familiar and traditional Android experience. So which one do you prefer? Do you like the simplicity of Pixel Experience Plus and Pixel OS or the extra customization options of Arrow OS? Quick setting. Now let's dive into the customization options available in the quick setting panel. In Pixel OS, you'll have a total of 49 tiles to play with, while Pixel Experience Plus have 42 and Arrow OS has 41 tiles in it. One interesting thing to note is that in Pixel OS, the auto brightness feature is in tile form, while in the other two rooms, it's just an icon. But it's not just about the number of options, it's also about the specific options that each room offers. For example, Pixel OS has an auto brightness style, while Arrow OS has a compass style, and Pixel Experience Plus doesn't have options like SBM, CABC switch, and data cards that both Pixel OS and Arrow OS includes. So it's worth taking a closer look at the specific options each room offers in the quick setting menu. But overall, in terms of quick setting tiles, Pixel OS has the most options available. But which one has the perfect balance of options and customizations for you? That's for you to decide. Settings. Now let's jump into the settings section and take a closer look at the differences between three rooms. At first glance, you'll notice that Pixel OS and Pixel Experience Plus both have a profile icon at the top of the setting menu, but Arrow OS does not have. Additionally, all three rooms have a search bar in the settings menu, making it easy to find the specific setting you are looking for. Network and Internet 
Now let's dive into the network and internet setting of each room. In terms of option available, Arrow OS and Pixel Experience Plus have a total of 10 settings, while Pixel OS has 9 settings. One missing option in Pixel OS is the mobile plan setting. However, all three rooms have the private DNS option, but none of them offer the option for custom DNS. A unique feature in Arrow OS is the inclusion of network traffic indicator, which allows you to keep an eye on your data uses in real time. But is this feature enough to make Arrow OS stand out in this category, or do the other rooms have something special to offer? Connect Devices Moving on the connected devices section, all three rooms have the same options such as Bluetooth, Cast, Nearby Share, and many more. In terms of connectivity options, all three rooms offer the same basic features. Apps When it comes to the apps section, both Pixel OS and Pixel Experience Plus have a total of six different settings to tweak your apps to your liking. However, Arrow OS only has five settings. Despite this, Arrow OS does have one unique feature that sets it apart the ability to create a parallel space. This allows you to have multiple accounts of the same app, which can be useful for separating work and personal accounts. On the other hand, Pixel OS and Pixel Experience Plus does not offer this feature. Notification In the notification section, there are no significant variation among the three rooms. All of them have an identical 16 settings within their notifications. Battery in battery settings, all three rooms include five distinct settings within their battery settings. However, both Pixel OS and Pixel Experience Plus have identical settings within them. Additionally, Arrow OS includes features such as low battery light, battery icon style, and battery manager that the other two rooms do not offer. Furthermore, if you take a closer look, you will notice that the battery uses graph in Pixel OS has a slightly different shape compared to the other two rooms. Storage Moving on to storage setting, there are no notable variation among these three custom rooms. All of them provide the same exact features in this storage section. Sounds and Vibration when it comes to sound and vibration setting, each custom room offers a unique set of options to customize your device audio. Pixel OS boasts 18 different settings, while Arrow OS and Pixel Experience Plus offer 19 and 23 settings respectively. Pixel Experience Plus offers additional features such as increasing the ringing volume, vibrating to indicate call status, and MI Sound Enhancer. However, it lacks the feature of per app volume control. Similarly, Arrow OS offers unique features like swaying the volume panel on the left and always swaying the icon on vibrate mode. But it does not have the feature of live caption which is provided by other rooms. Although Pixel OS does not offer any exclusive features, it does have all the necessary sound and vibration related features. Display when it comes to customizing the display on your device, each of the custom rooms offer a unique set of options to choose from. For example, inside the screen timeout setting, Pixel OS has an exclusive feature called screen attention that keeps the screen on if you are actively using it. Arrow OS on the other hand offers 6 different custom dark themes to choose from, while Pixel Experience Plus does not include any custom dark themes but offers the option to schedule the dark theme. Additionally, Arrow OS has an exclusive feature called Ignore Window Secure Flag in its display setting. However, it is worth noting that Pixel Experience Plus and Pixel OS both have 14 and 16 settings respectively for display, while Arrow OS has 15 settings for display. Security When it comes to securing your device, each custom room takes a different approach. For example, Pixel OS and Pixel Experience Room offers 8 different security settings, while Arrow OS offers 6 settings. But the real question is, are more settings always better? All of the custom rooms include features such as face and fingerprint unlock as well as device encryption. Additionally, Arrow OS also provides an app lock feature in its security settings. Privacy When it comes to keeping your device private, all three custom rooms have their unique set of tools, but what sets them apart? 
Pixel OS and Pixel Experience Plus have 16 settings, while Aero OS has 15 settings. Pixel OS has an exclusive feature called Ignore Secure Flag, and Aero OS has an exclusive feature called Aero Privacy Tags. But does more setting always mean more privacy? Aero OS is missing some features such as Android System Intelligence, so clipboard overlay, and personalize using data app that the other two have. So which one is the best for keeping your device private and secure? You can comment down below. Digital well-being. Digital well-being is an important aspect of using any device and all three custom rooms provide similar tools to help manage device uses. Each room includes eight settings like a dashboard, bedtime mode, focus mode, and more. But the question is, are these identical settings enough to help manage your device uses? You can share your thoughts on comment section below. System In system setting, Pixel OS offers 8 settings, Aero OS 7, and Pixel Experience Plus 10 settings. Which one is best for customizing your device? Let's find out. Language and input All custom rooms have a feature that lets you choose different languages for different apps. This makes it easy for users who prefer to use different apps in their desired language. Gesture Talking about gestures, all the three rooms have different ways to control your device with gestures. Pixel OS and Pixel Experience Plus have a quick tap to start feature at the top, but Aero OS does not. All three have ways to use one hand, turn on the flashlight, take screenshots, and stop ringing. Pixel Experience Plus has an advanced restart feature with shortcuts. Pixel OS has an advanced restart option without shortcuts. And Arrow OS does not have this feature at all. Buttons and status bar. Pixel Experience Plus Roam offers extra options when it comes to buttons and status bar that the other two rooms do not have. This includes the ability to control calls and media playback directly from the button settings and the option to customize the status bar with a network traffic indicator, clock, battery and brightness slider. These additional settings make the device more user friendly and customizable to individual needs. Xiaomi parts in terms of Xiaomi specific features, both Aero OS and Pixel OS offers options that are not available in Pixel Experience Plus. These options can be found in the Xiaomi Parts setting, where you'll find features such as the MI Sound Enhancer and a new ambient display option. This adds an extra layer of customization to your device. Display Cutout when it comes to display cutouts, all three rooms offer the ability to access the features through the developer option setting. This allows you to customize the look of your device display, making it truly unique and no matter which room you choose, you will have the option to access this feature and make your device stand out. So in this video, we have compared three custom rooms for a device. Pixel Experience Plus, Aero OS, and Pixel OS. We have looked at various aspects such as boot time, camera, certification, launcher, multitasking, storage, pre installed apps, and dialer messaging apps. Pixel Experience Plus stands out for its fast boot time and unique scan feature in the camera app, Aero OS for its unique Aero launcher, fewer pre installed apps and additional four stop button and pixel OS for its superior camera experience and advanced features. So in conclusion, all three rooms offer a good user experience and it's up to you to decide which one is the best based on your personal preferences and uses. We hope that this comparison was helpful in guiding you towards your perfect custom room. So that's it for this video. I hope you like this comparison video and if you do, then do like, share and comment your thoughts. Also, if you like my work, you can support by subscribing to Cracksway YouTube channel. Thank you for watching my video till the end. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.